coaches. Welcome back to another episode of Coach Better Spotlight. Today, I'm chatting with a panel of our amazing Coattail graduates, Andrea Goodrich, Kerry Magalad, Sadia Munir Hamad, Yasmin Munshi, and Liliana Bandini about the power of networked professional learning. In this spotlight, we dig into why the Coattail program was so impactful for all our panel guests and how you can leverage the power of network learning for your professional growth. In the full-length episode, we get an inside look at how these amazing teachers are using the innovative learning strategies they explore during Coattail in their classrooms today. If you are curious about how the Coattail program might impact your practice as an educator, or you just want to be inspired by teachers pushing the boundaries of their own learning, this episode is for you. As you can imagine, hearing from teachers in all areas of the school is a great insight into the kinds of learning that happens inside the Coattail program. No matter where you are in your educational practice, Coattail will empower you to leverage innovative, technology-rich learning in your school setting as a teacher, a coach, or a leader. Registration for our next global cohort opens on the 18th of October and closes on the 14th of November. Find out more and join the waiting list at Coattail.com today. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Coach Better. I am super excited to be here with a panel of our co-tailers, past and present, to talk a little bit about their co-tail journey and the impact that co-tail has had on their professional growth and give you all a little bit of an inside look into the co-tail program from the perspective of our participants. And we have a lovely panel here, and I want to make sure everybody gets a chance to introduce themselves and share a little bit about their education background, where they're at now, where they came from, that kind of like education history. And I am going to start with Yasmin because I see you on my screen first. Yasmin, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, everyone. Um, I'm so happy to be here with you guys today. Um, I obviously my name is Yasmin and uh, I currently live in Doha, Qatar. And at the moment, I am teaching at a progressive school called uh, Academia T, and it is a Qatar Foundation school. Um, I spent, uh, I've been teaching probably close to about 10 years now. I spent 12 years in marketing before I became a teacher. And I think I did Coattail maybe a few years ago, two to three years ago, something like that. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much. I totally want to come back to your marketing background at some point if we can, because I think that is a, another interesting like facet of learning how to share your learning in public spaces that's part of Coattail, but maybe you have even more insight that would be interesting. But I'll let everybody else introduce themselves first, and then we'll come back to you on that. Liliana, can I get you to introduce yourself next, please? Yes. Hi, I'm Liliana Bandini. Uh, I'm currently working in uh, Mumbai, in India, at Singapore International School. I'm from Peru. In fact, right now I'm in Lima. No, I'm, I'm working as a librarian last 28 years, but last 15 years I'm working in international education. No, and I'm so excited to be here today. No, Liliana, you're in Peru right now, so you had to leave India and go back home? No, 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 no. I didn't have to go. I came because I had something personal to do, but now Got I'm it. like stuck. Got it. Because my flight has been canceled. Yeah, I think we all are very familiar with how this year has shaped up and totally understand. Okay, um, Carrie, can I get you to introduce yourself next, please? Hi, everybody. I'm Carrie. Um, shout out to my neighbor, Yasmin, because we actually work in the same school and she lives like a few villas down. 
Um, so my background is I have a music education degree and I started out as a band director in Georgia in the States. You know, I was a marching band kid. So, I, you know, I thought that was like my gig for life. Um, you know, unfortunately life happened and budget cuts, you know, the arts always came first. So I was like, I got to be proactive. So why not look elsewhere? So I went to a job fair in San Francisco, got my got an elementary teaching position here in Doha, Qatar. And I've been here for roughly 10 years. And Yasmin and I did Kotel 9 together. So, and now we're here. And we're working now at the Progressive School as well. I am already loving how different each of your backgrounds are. Like music ed, band director, that I can't wait to hear about that a little bit more. But before I get to that, I know I still have a few more introductions. So can I please ask Andrea to introduce yourself? And then very last, I will call on Sadia. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrea Goodrich. And it's so nice to be here. I've never done a podcast before. So this is a new experience for me. Um, but yeah, uh, I am from Chicago, Illinois, and I studied education. I kind of kind of grew up knowing I wanted to be a teacher, and then that's the path that I continued on. Uh, I studied education in university, and then I also knew I wanted to live overseas, so I kind of jumped into international teaching right away. Um, this is my 15th year doing it. Uh, I kind of started off in like a smaller school in Puerto Rico, so it was like kind of a good start into international teaching because it was still close to home. And then I went to Ecuador for a few years, Korea, and now I'm in Hanoi uh, working and teaching fourth grade. Um, this is my first year in fourth grade in Hanoi. I was in second grade the past two years, but I'm enjoying the change and it's been fun, like trying out all my coattail stuff with my fourth graders. So it's been a good experience. Oh, wonderful. You're a bit like me. I got into international teaching immediately. Like I graduated university and then my best friend was doing an internship at Munich International School the year after she graduated and we went to visit her and I was like this I want this this is good right. how can I get myself <laughs> into this um, okay last but not least Sadia can you please introduce yourself I have a bachelor's in economics and all this stuff and then after the MBA kind of realized that I was missing something that I wanted to teach. I, I love kids. I think that's the one, one reason that I got into teaching. And um, so I got my teaching certification from Florida and then we moved to Saudi. And, and uh, in, uh, in Khobar, we, I started the Coattail 11 program and Liliana was with me and was one of the uh, peer with, uh, with me. And uh, it was an amazing experience. And I think that was because it was recommended. I think um, we had a Tara Wadby as a head of our school and she recommended that I take this program because I was very technologically challenged. I think to some extent I still am, but I'm less scared of it now. And so less scared of celebrating, you know, try, trying to find out new things to do and all. And um, it's, it was a great growing experience for me. I, and it made me realize that I need to do more as a teacher. I'm not teaching currently right now, and we moved back from Saudi, but I want to go and do um, either a PhD or a master's program now in, uh, in education with technology, and especially for developing countries and, and for poorer urban schools. So that's the kind of the future plan. I think uh, 2021 is when I, uh, 2022 is when I start, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's, me. that's super cool. Uh, I'm sure you already know this because you all are in our Coattail network, but it's also super cool that Tara is now facilitating our current cohort. So the head of school that recommended you join the cohort, she's kind of stayed in the fold and she is facilitating the cohort now, which is really nice. What would you tell other prospective Coattailers? And, and in that sense, how is it different than other PD? So like, why does Coattail stand out for you that you would let other Coattailers know if they're considering joining the program? I think it. I think it goes back to something that Andrea pointed out was that um, the collaborative aspect of Coattail is uh, sometimes is unlike some other PDs that I've done. That idea of building your PLN is really, really useful, and I and I think back to um, a project that I did in my own classroom where we were learning about. Um, recycling and how other how other countries deal with waste management or 
you know, services and we created a Padlet and I put it out there, you know, amongst my PLN and, you know, Diana was really great. She was like, oh, I know this person and I know this person, I know this person. And all of a sudden my 24 Qatari children were hearing about how people in Switzerland deal with waste and how people in Singapore deal with waste or how people in Taiwan deal with waste. And so it really enriched their uh, experience and had them, uh, you know, appreciate different perspectives. So I think that, yeah, I love the idea of, you know, working on your PLN within Cotail. That was a really important part of it for me. And that's something else I know I've been like really hammering home all the things I love about these programs, but that's something else I really value about Coattail is because you walk away from that program. Yes, you got a year and a half worth of content. You had your global cohort. You did all your work in your classroom. You have your final project, but you have a PLN that you can take and build forever and keep growing and keep developing and keep using and keep tapping into and keep sharing to. It's not that kind of situation where you do it for a weekend or you do it for a week or however long it takes. And then it's over. It's just going to continue because you're empowered now to have that, like anytime, anywhere learning through your PLN. Awesome. Liliana, is there something that you would tell other co other people who are considering joining Coattail that makes Coattail special or different than other PD that you have done? Yes, I think that the amount of pedagogy that we are learning in Cotail is something that changed our practices and we are taking it away, taking with us, and it's there. So because we are integrating that into our practices and it's not going to leave us, I think, because we are changing as educators. No, I think there is one Liliana before Cotail and another one reloaded after Cotail. <laughs> yes, and also uh, the sense of empathy no, with our students. How everything that we are learning is coming together, our PLN collaboration, uh, our designing our designing different uh, things to show our learning, to show our practices. I'm applying that. We are doing marketing. We are doing so many things at the same time of that it's unique. I love it. I love the idea that it's a mindset shift and you take it with you and it's integrated. It becomes part of you. And now you look at the opportunities you have as an educator with a slightly different lens because you've, you've had that yes. mindset. I love yes, it. Yes, it totally changed our ways of seeing education. Beautiful. Carrie, can I get you to share something you might say to a potential co-tailer about how co-tail is different than other PD? Um, I mean, aside from the duration being like a year and a half long of this very intense <laughs> PD, you know, you get that constant feedback and Diana was really good about that am I on the right track what what do you think about this but from a specialist perspective this PD was for me it's not another PD in the you know the whole school-wide PD and I'm sitting there I'm like how does this apply to me can I go back to my room now I, I can't apply this but Cotail was like this is very special this is for me and I like Liliana said it I can take it anywhere it's 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 a very special thing that is so good to hear I thank you like that is obviously what we want but it's like really good to hear thank you for that uh Andrea I know you're still mid-program but given that you're like kind of wrapping up what would you tell other potential co-tailers about how uh co-tail is unique in your perspective yeah kind of like bouncing off what Carrie was saying is like because there's, I mean, every course, like, you know, you have your guidelines and like structure, but there's so much choice that it is really like geared towards you. And I think I really enjoyed that about it as well as like the blog posting, you know, it took me forever to write a blog post and my husband would be like, you don't have to write a book. Like it doesn't have to be life changing. 
don't think about it so much. But like, I really liked the process of the blog posting because it helped me reflect on what I was doing. And I wouldn't normally do that. But it really helps you come to some realizations about your teaching practice. So I really enjoyed that. And it also just like, kind of puts you out there because you're sharing that with everybody else and you don't know who's going to read it. So it's a good practice for myself, I think. Um, and then I think just going back to the personal learning network is that I think that's just a huge component and something that I really valued. And, you know, hopefully I, I know that it will continue to grow because of Coattail. Yes. I, I couldn't agree more about the blog posting. I'm also, I also tend to be, I don't know if it's like an overthinker, but I'm like, okay, I'm writing this down. Anyone can see it. I want to make sure that every single word is the right. right word. And I really mean what I say. And I'm not like messing up in my intention. And I want everyone to read this the way I intend it and all those kinds of pieces. But actually going through that process and forcing yourself to think about things in a way that someone else can understand them is so valuable. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I know in a really weird way, like I remember all my blog posts. Like if I took that time to write a post, I can almost, not only can I see the pictures I chose to like accentuate my post, but I can often tell you what the headers are and like my favorite point in the post. And I can usually, and I, I've been blogging since for a long time, like since 2007. So, you know, I have what is that over 10 years of blog posts? And I can say, Oh, I, I wrote that when I was at this school, that was probably in my first year of the school. So that means I wrote that this year and that happened in like November. So let's say November, 2012, like who remembers that about their practice? Mm -hmm. You don't, unless you're forced to do the reflection because it's just not something most people take the time to do. So I really appreciate you highlighting that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sadia, can you share, and I know you have already said so many ways that Coattail has like kind of changed your career trajectory, but how do you feel that Coattail is different than other PD that you might share with people who are considering joining the program? Um, so I'm probably going to end up repeating a lot of things that everybody said, like, for example, Carrie just made a really good point that it is more personalized, definitely. And this fact that you, whatever you're learning, it forms the back, back, backbone for you to go and practice it in your classroom. That makes a huge difference. And the blogging that you do allows you to evaluate your practice also. And, and you know, like, obviously, you're evaluating the kids, but it allows you to reflect and evaluate what went right, what went wrong. And so it's lessons for the future that you will be hopefully implementing. And um, and I remember, okay, so this is so relevant to what's happening in the U.S. right now. There was a reading on implicit bias. And, and so we did all those readings and everything like that. And it just makes you much more aware. And it carries even beyond your teaching because that those readings and all, um, I've forgotten what it was called, but uh, but I think by Harrow or Har Bobby Harrow or something, those readings um, – are still with me because when I look at the news and all this stuff in the US, okay, so it's, it's the, that is there. And then we had a fantastic coach, uh, Tanya Leclerc and, and her feedback was very important, obviously. And, um, and I think it, for me, it also introduced me to ISTE, you know, the ISTE standards. And then I ended up taking a three week long summer course and all this stuff. And it, it was really amazing to have other teachers come in and talk about what they're using in their classrooms. And this was in the COVID area and schools were getting shut down and all this stuff. So it, it um, opens, just like I said, it opens new doors to new technological advancements and, you know, how to, you know, put that back into your teaching practice. That is wonderful. I thank all of you so much for your time today. I know we didn't get to have as much back and forth conversation because there were so many of you on the call, but I am just so grateful for you sharing your time and your journey with Coattail. I'm bummed that we can get that one other question in there, but I do think we, we answered a bunch of, we highlighted a bunch of those things in our conversation. I am going to make sure, because I already know your Twitter handles, I'm going to make sure all that info is in the show notes. So if people want to get in touch with you, they'll be able to do that. And yeah, thank you all so much for your time today. This was a wonderful conversation. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for asking You're us. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, for asking us. Bye. 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 Thank Bye. you. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this conversation. If you are ready to leverage technology to create a student-driven, innovative, and authentically connected learning environment, please join us for our next cohort of Cotail. 
All educators are welcome in our Cotail community, whether you're currently in the classroom, a specialist or learning leader, a coach or a school administrator. Cotail will engage and empower you to bring new and innovative learning strategies to life in your school community. Registration for our next global cohort opens on the 18th of October and closes on the 14th of November. We facilitate only one cohort each year so we can create connected, collaborative, and community-driven global cohorts. Now is your chance to be part of the global movement to transform learning for all students. Become a co-tailor today. Head over to Cotail.com to find out more. Here at Eduro, we provide customized online professional learning for educators at the intersection of technology, coaching, and leadership. Our mission is to empower the relentless learner in you to embrace your inner leader and make a bigger impact in your school setting. Join our Coach Better Facebook group and connect with us on social media at Aduro Learning for more great resources at the intersection of technology, coaching, and leadership. Thank you so much for joining us for today's episode, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>